Hello friends, welcome back to the part one of JBoss series. In this JBoss series, I am going to cover end-to-end -end knowledge of the JBoss from the basic concepts of JBoss, JBoss AS and Wildfly and then EA version from the Red Hat. And then how we can do the installation and configurations of Red Hat uh, EA or JBoss and then how we can uh, configure the domain controller, host controllers, and then how we can do the deployment applications and bit advanced options as well, okay. So now this is the first part and this first part I'm going to cover the basic understanding of the different versions of the JBoss application server. Because I had a discussion with a lot of engineers, okay. And what I saw is most of the time they get confused about was, okay, what, what exactly is JBoss, what is JBoss AF, AS, Wildfly, and then EAF. Okay, so these all are the different versions of uh, the JBoss uh, application server. Okay, and I'm, I will explain in this short video what is the difference between all of them. The video series on JBoss is demanded by the Hemant Gautam and Nayan Patil. Okay, however, the demand from the Hemant Gautam was on bit advanced options of JBoss, but stay tuned and then in some time, okay, I will come up with the advanced uh, series of JBoss as well. Okay, so because I'm starting from the beginning, so it will just an introduction. And but I would recommend to all of you to go through this as well, okay? Because you will get a lot of information for which you may not aware about that one with respect to JBoss, okay? So let us begin with the part one, which is the introduction. So what is JBoss, okay? So we saw that okay, there are a lot of different uh, terms that we use in when we talk about a JBoss. The simple JBoss, sometimes JBoss AS, okay? Sometimes EAF, okay? And now it is Wildfly as well. Okay, so now when we talk about JBoss, which is again another term for JBoss AS earlier, is free and open source Java based application server under GNU Lesser General Public License LGPL. So we all know that JBoss is an open source application server which you can download free of cost from the website and then you can use it whether in production, development, or any environment without paying any kind of a fee, right? This is a open source software and all the open software, open source softwares come under a software licensing terms, which is the open source licensing terms. That means you can use any of the open source softwares without any cost, without giving paying any cost for that one licensing cost. Even if you want, you can upgrade or update that software as well, according to the your requirements. Okay. And, but the condition is that you have to release the code as well. Okay. So you can enhance the code. And after enhancing the code, you can release it for the public use as well. So the only, uh, this is the condition when we talk about the open source software, you have to make the source code available for the outer world, okay? And another part is that you can provide the support for your software with the cost, okay? That means with the open source software, because it is developed by the community of the users, okay? So you can't take the licensing cost, okay? But yes, because there is no hardened, uh, fast support for all the community so community software like just like the uh, other property softwares that we buy on the licensing cost right we can get the support from the vendor anytime 24 plus 7 right but here you don't have any such kind of a support because you don't have any license you don't have any dedicated organization who is providing the software because it is a community software so if you, if you encountered any issue you have to log into the community portal and then you have to post your issues and then some of the developer or some of the end users may will respond to your queries but you will not get any kind of a support because it is not sold by any property organization so this is the term and conditions of open source software, right? And when we talk about Red Hat, okay, so this JBoss, which was developed, okay, as an, by the open source community, it is now with the Red Hat division, okay, which provides you the Red Hat Linux, okay? That means the enterprise version of JBoss is provided by the Red Hat. And now because they are providing you the enterprise version of Red Hat JBoss, so you can take the support, 24 plus 7 support from the Red Hat as well. So this gives a certain kind of a confidence when you're going to use your, uh, open source software in a production environment because if you get stuck anywhere with respect to the bug in the product, okay, you will get a support from the Red Hat. Okay, you will not uh, uh, stay in a deadlock condition where you don't have any dedicated organization to support you, right? So you will get an enterprise support from the Red Hat and then for that, you have to go to use the software uh, or you can say about the enterprise version of the, this JBoss which is come from the Red Hat and with the name of EAF, Enterprise Application. Uh, server, you can say. Okay, so when we talk about the open source community edition, that is come as a JBoss simply or with the JBoss AS. Okay, and the third name for this is Wildfly. Okay, so when we talk about the open source uh, naming conventions of the JBoss, then there are three terms JBoss AS or simply you can say JBoss, which is now Wildfly. 
So if you heard about the Wildfly, JBoss or JBoss AS, that means someone is talking about the open source software. But if you have a, you are talking about the enterprise version, which comes from the Red Hat, then it would be JBoss EA app, which come as a with the, along with the enterprise support. Okay, and that's the reason you may find different version of open source JBoss Community Editions, which is free to download, and Red Hat EA, which is controlled by Red Hat and under their own licensing term and agreement. Okay, so. This is the reason you will heard that there are a lot of terms with respect to JBoss, like simple JBoss, JBoss AS, Wildfly, and then JBoss EA. So simple JBoss, JBoss AS, and Wildfly is the open source community version of your JBoss. And second is the enterprise version, which is called the EA app, which comes from the Red Hat, along with the licensing term and agreements, for which you can get the 24 cross 7 support from the Red Hat engineers. Okay, so now when we talk about the Wildfly, okay, so I will tell you about uh, when this JBoss renamed to Wildfly. As I'm saying that uh, the name of open source community version is JBoss AS or JBoss or Wildfly, okay? So the older version was with the name JBoss AS and JBoss, now which is renamed as Wildfly. That means the community version of the JBoss is renamed from JBoss or JBoss AS to Wildfly, okay? In the next slide, I will going to show you uh, when it was changed, okay? So you go to wildfly.org and then under the download section, you can download the open source version of your JBoss, or you can see the Wildfly, and the current version as of today is 27.0.1, which is released on, which was released on December 15, 2022. So this is the open source version, which you can download from the Wildfly community software. And when you go for the enterprise version of uh, the EA app of the JBoss, which you can download from the access.redhead.com, okay, or maybe from the developer.redhead.com, okay, and there, once you will log in, then you will see a different versions of EAP server. So there would be a differentiation between the versions which is released by the Red Hat EAP and which is released by the open source community. Okay. In the previous slide, we can see the current version of uh, the JBoss open source community version is 27.0.1 final, which was released on December 15th. And when we go to the corresponding version of the enterprise from the Red Hat of this open source, which is the 8.0 beta. Okay, this is the current version of EAP enterprise version of JBoss from the Red Hat as of today on December, okay, or, or the first week of January. Okay, the current, so, and, and, and the older versions are 7.4, 7.3, 7.2, okay, and that is the reason you will see a differentiate see between the versions on the JBoss open, open community version and from the uh, Red Hat enterprise application server as well, because it is controlled by the Red Hat, so they, they release it with their own release number, and the community versions are released by the community members. Okay, so as I said, the JBoss AS or JBoss, which is now Wildfly, so free open source JBoss or also known as JBoss AS is now renamed as Wildfly since around 2014. That means since November 2014, the open source community version is renamed as Wildfly. Okay, prior to that, it was JBoss or simply JBoss AS. Okay, so when we talk about the versions that was with JBoss AS and with the Wildfly. So till JBoss AS 7.11 reversion, it was JBoss AS. Okay. And from version 8 onward, it is renamed to Wildfly. Okay. So till the open source community version 7.111, it was defined as JBoss AS. But after that, when the version 8 was released after November 2014, it is renamed as Wildfly. Okay, and op only open source community version renamed as Wildfly, not Red Hat Enterprise version. Okay, so that was the only the open source version, right? That was renamed from JBoss AS to Wildfly, and the Red Hat JBoss version is the same with the name Red Hat EA app. Okay, and when we talk about the recommendations, so as I said in the production, it is always recommended from Red Hat as well to go with the EA app version for your live environment and with the enterprise version because for that you will get a 24 plus 7 support from the Red Hat engineers. Okay, because if you get stuck in a production environment in, in, due to any product related bugs, okay, then you may not get the prompt support and your live environment will get dead in that case. Okay, and open source. As I said, open source is freely available, but it's recommended only for the development testing purpose we can use. But when it comes to production, then you should have to go with the Red Hat EA app JBoss version. And to download, as I said, the JBoss AS was the name till 7.11. So to download any older version of community, you can go to JBoss, as.jboss.org and download sections. And after 7.1.1, it was renamed as Wildfly. So for that, you have a different website with the name wildfly.org slash downloads, and you can download the eight 
version onwards version of your open source community from there. And when we talk about the Red Hat E app, then you can download it from the developers.redhat.com. You can register with your email ID and then you can download it for your development and testing environment purpose. But if you are going to release it for a production environment, then you have to get the support and licensing terms and agreements with the help or with from the Red Hat. So thanks for watching this video. And this is all about the basic concepts of all the versions of uh, JBoss, okay? And then in the next session, I will come shortly with some technical terms or uh, with related to the domains and deployment kind of activities. Thanks.